The sensors are operating normally, and we've seized all the Volgus's supplies. Let's get back to the outpost. We need to wait for Dr. Cade to contact us about the next operation anyway. What is it? Ah, speak of the devil. She's contacting me now. Kate, I'm receiving. The supplies I sent are the ones seized from an important Volgus facility. We identified them as being highly likely to be targeted by Jeremy, so we went after them first. There's three supply boxes worth. These are genetic materials used to create Volgus bodies. If Jeremy wants to emulate the process in the Azorok report, these are the core materials he'll need. But did you say three boxes? Only two have been delivered. Was one intercepted by the Volgus? What are you talking about, Kate? The delivery speed for Albion supply boxes is too fast to be overtaken by standard transportation. Wait a second. Jeremy. His RK abilities. He might be able to grab a supply box mid-air. Damn it. This is the emergency response system. A supply box on its way to Albion has been intercepted. Last known location is in the Northeast. There is a high chance that Jeremy grabbed it. He planned this. Oh man, you've given me everything I needed. You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, I'll put these supplies to good use. <laughs> All forces, I'm sending the last known coordinates of the supply box. Move out. Jeremy trying to make a pet bogus? That's disturbing. I have a different theory. <sighs> Jeremy has everything he now needs. Void energy, highly concentrated Kuiper, Vulgus DNA solution, and the Iron Heart. All of these were used by Eamon when he created Alzarok. Are you saying Jeremy is creating a super strong Vulgus that will obey him? I would have expected bigger things from that traitor. Perhaps, as he already has RK, he may be attempting to fuse his own body with that of a Vulgus, spawning a new being. Those of Esimo's men who were won over by Jeremy were strongly taken by his words, fully believing what he said. However, there is one thing Jeremy hasn't been able to obtain yet. An energy output intense enough to activate the Iron Heart. Fortunately, I do not detect any facilities in this swamp with that level of output. However, if there are any Colossi remains in this swamp in fairly good condition, they may still retain an immense amount of power. Then there would be no need to infiltrate an Albion or Vulgus facility. I suspect the remains are exactly what Jeremy is after. Ah! If that's so, that's good news. There aren't any usable Colossi remains around here, so we can finally catch our breath. Actually, there is one. A while ago, there was an executioner which failed in an intercept attempt and ended up somewhere in this swamp. This is Vulgus territory, yet I wasn't in a position to go after it at the time, so I left it. Ah! Damn it. I guess there was no way of knowing it could be used for this. We need to find the location of the remnants. I'm gonna blow them up so that nobody can use them. Number 17 suspending stealth search and converting to support mission. The enemy is on high alert. Jeremy must have riled them up. They're trying to obstruct our pursuit. We must eliminate them quickly.
Taking them out will force the enemy to retreat. any approaching enemies.
has appeared. Take the target down quickly.
lights of data. Ah, I knew it. We've detected Jeremy's arc, eh? His route takes him toward the chapel. Wait, these traces are similar to those of the Vulgus. <laughs> 